Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about alkaline phosphatase test. What is this enzyme alkaline phosphatase? This enzyme, abbreviated as ALP, is one of the important enzyme for the diagnosis of fever clinical disorders. The suffix of the enzyme phosphatase indicates that this is a cleavage enzyme. So alkaline phosphatase is responsible for cleavage of phosphate bond and the prefix alkaline indicates that this enzyme is stereoactive in presence of basic pH. So in the alkaline pH only this enzyme is active. Now ALP exists in many of the tissues including bones, liver, intestine, placenta, kidney and even brain. In many of the tissues, this alkaline phosphatase is distributed and it plays a key role in many of the cellular activities. Even this enzyme is present in all these tissues, but different isoforms of this enzyme are present in the different tissues. So based on that, alkaline phosphatase can be classified into four isozymes. One isoform is present at the placenta, which is called placental alkaline phosphatase. Second isoform is present in the intestine, which is intestinal alkaline phosphatase. And third one is present in the germ cells, such as thymus and testis. So it is called as germ cell alkaline phosphatase. And the fourth one is widely distributed in many of the tissues, such as liver, bones, and kidney. And it is labeled as LBK alkaline phosphatase, which is present in the liver, bones, and kidney. In this way, four isoforms of alkaline phosphatase are available, but the serum alkaline phosphatase levels are mainly contributed from the bones and liver also contributes for serum alkaline phosphatase levels. So any disorders that are associated with bone and liver may elevate the alkaline phosphatase levels, which is used as an important tool to assess clinical disorders related with these two organs. Now let us see the role of alkaline phosphatase enzyme. Even the exact role is not clear, but this enzyme plays an important role at the intestine where it is going to fight with harmful bacteria in the gut, thereby it prevents the bacterial infection. And this enzyme also reduces the absorption rate of fat, that's why it can control the cholesterol levels. This enzyme also reduces the risk of inflammation, and at the bones, this enzyme is responsible for increase bone growth by increase the mineralization and even at the central nervous system it is responsible for cognition so many of the roles are there for alkaline phosphatase enzyme but they are not completely specific because it's having the broad functional role in our physiological system that's why any imbalance in its function may result in elevation of alp levels for instance any bone disorders liver disorders or disorders which are associated with increased inflammation may result in elevation of alkaline phosphatase levels. Now let us see in which conditions the alkaline phosphatase levels are elevated. As we have discussed earlier, the bone disorders are associated with elevated levels of ALP, particularly those bone disorders which result in increased osteoblast activity so that new bone formation is increased. For instance, in case of Paget's disease, which is a disorder of bone remodeling, where the bone formation is increased in improper way. So as the bone formation increases, ALP is more synthesized as a byproduct, resulting in the elevation of ALP levels. Similarly, other bone disorders such as rickets in the children and osteomalacia in the adults, resulting in the softening of bones, and other conditions such as vitamin D deficiency or decreased calcium levels within the bone, all these conditions can elevate the ALP levels. Similarly, the liver disorders such as hepatitis, inflammation of the liver or any other liver disease which produce few of the conditions such as jaundice resulting in abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, dark colored urine, fatigue and yellowish discoloration of the skin as well as eye. In all these conditions, the ALP levels are elevated that's why ALP test is one of the component in the liver functionality test. This ALP is also included in complete metabolic panel CMP where any liver disorder is associated with elevated levels of ALP. Particularly in the liver functionality test, 
the SGPT and SGOT levels are elevated, which are associated with elevation of ALP due to any liver damage and inflammation. Particularly, ALP is elevated in the bile duct disorders. For instance, any formation of gallstones or cancer of gallbladder, cholecystitis, the inflammation of gallbladder, all these conditions may result in elevation of ALP because ALP secretion is reduced as well as synthesis is increased resulting in the elevated levels of ALP within the serum. So ALP test is required in conditions of any bone disorder or liver disorder. Other conditions such as cancer particularly seminomas which are affecting the germ cells particularly in the men otherwise lymphomas affecting the lymphatic system. In all these conditions there may be elevation of ALP levels or few of the conditions such as pregnancy can also elevate the ALP levels. Hyperparathyroidism where the parathyroid hormone levels are elevated resulting in demineralization. Again in such conditions the ALP levels are elevated. Now let us see when there is decreased levels of ALP can be observed. Even this condition is somewhat less common compared with elevated levels of ALP but few of the conditions may reduce the ALP levels. For instance, hypophosphatasia is one of the condition where there is decreased levels of calcium which may result in the decreased levels of ALP. Otherwise, few of the anemic conditions can also reduce the ALP levels. Osteoporosis, particularly in the postmenopausal women, can also reduce the ALP levels. Few of the conditions such as Wilson's disease, which is associated with elevated levels of copper within the body, again result in the decreased levels of ALP. Other conditions such as malnutrition, hypothyroidism, all these can reduce the ALP levels. And finally, the magnesium deficiency can also reduce the ALP levels. So even these conditions are less common, but when there is reduced levels of ALP, any of these conditions may be present within the patient. What are the normal values? The normal values are variable with the laboratory conditions. So normal range of ALP is considered from 20 to 140 units per liter. But in few of the laboratories, these normal values can be taken from 30 to 130 units per liter. And still other ranges as 44 to 147 units per liter is also considered as reference range for this ALP levels. So that's about this alkaline phosphatase test, which is commonly known as ALP. Even specific isoenzyme can also be tested. But normally the alkaline phosphatase levels are initially checked. When they are highly abnormal, then a particular isoform can be tested in order to assess a particular clinical condition. Alkaline phosphatase levels are elevated in the conditions such as bone disorders and liver disorders, including obstruction of bile and inflammation of gallbladder. And their levels are also elevated in the conditions such as pregnancy, hyperparathyroidism, or fear of the cancers affecting the germ cells lymphomas in all these conditions ALP levels are elevated. Similarly ALP levels are lower in the conditions such as malnutrition, hypothyroidism, Wilson's disease, osteoporosis and conditions such as anemia, hypophosphatasia. In all these conditions ALP levels are reduced. The ALP levels are variable from 20 to 140 units per liter but the reference range can also be taken from 44 to 147 units per liter. So that's about this alkaline phosphatase test. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.